we couldn't be here at a more important time. The action in Washington is happening this week. The conversations are happening this week. It is fantastic that we are here this week. Advocacy Day is really the heart of the work that we're doing. It's the opportunity that we get once a year to really speak truth to power and tell our elected officials what, what matters to us. Represent Advocacy Day 2017. 2K17. This year we've partnered with Operation Shoestring to bring passionate, dedicated youth ambassadors from Jackson, Mississippi to Washington, D.C. to raise their voices and tell their elected officials what's important to them. just to have this opportunity because you know most students don't get to travel to Washington DC and this is my first time traveling here and getting on a plane. Because uh, I want to advocate on behalf of children everywhere not just people in Jackson. I feel like people everywhere should have the same basic rights. For some whatever reason people don't seem to see that but I think we can make them see that. The Youth Ambassadors have been preparing for months to come to DC and to raise their voices. Whether they are afraid of you or support you, I don't think that should dictate or change how you approach the issue. But if you make them feel more informed, if you make them feel they're better equipped to address or talk about the issue, then you've done your job. They've been working hard in learning about different legislative issues. And this is one of the ways that we're able to provide those opportunities in Mississippi. And it's about to be taken away from us. The U.S. is already doing some really great programs to reduce violence against children. Um, with the budget, if there's no money for these programs, there's no program. And practicing role plays and practicing personal narratives. I know with like my story, whenever I tell like my childhood or stuff to people, I get a lot of sympathy, but I don't get really like a lot of action. I don't want this sympathy. I don't think that's what we're trying to achieve, and I feel like we're getting that more than anything, like with our political figures, that we're getting a lot of people that are looking at us really sad, but not really doing anything yeah. about it. Coming to Washington, D.C. has been a really unique opportunity for the youth ambassadors. You guys, this is it. This is what we've been working so hard together for. We're all very proud of you. <laughs> Huddle, all team in spirit. Favor to say aye. No, it's a youth matter. Youth matter. One, two, three. Youth Matters! The Youth Ambassadors had the opportunity to meet directly with their senators and representatives' offices to lobby on behalf of issues that are important to them in Jackson as well as on behalf of the children of the world. Um, the program that brought us here is an after school program and that's what my fo is focused on about after schools and the purpose of them is not only to help students academically, they keep children in poverty and low performing schools safe after school, but they need funding. Funding which the President's budget request plans to eliminate. So on behalf of Operation Shoestring, the Academy Ambassadors, and Child Fund International, and children in after school programs nationwide, we ask that you support us by supporting and maintaining the funding for after school programs. They've also talked about a relationship between the importance of education here in the United States as well as globally and asked their senators and their representatives to support the READ Act, the Reinforcing Education Accountability and Development. This goes on, so this is a good thing to continue to support and we hope you continue to support it. Okay. Yeah. We also talked about why the international affairs budget and development and diplomacy funding is so crucial and so necessary in ensuring that youth around the world have the opportunity to fulfill their potential and to engage in our global community. As a recipient and witness of child abuse and like the adoption system and like having no family and being abandoned very often, I feel like with child fun is doing could be an example and should definitely be continued because it shows us but children definitely matter and you know we should be protected and cared for and I think Child Fund is doing that and just seeing that play out is like showing us that America actually has heart and cares about these students so we should do that same thing within and with outside of America. All the acts that they talked about, um, the READ Act, the um, International Affairs Budget, and the uh, After School Program and Local Act, it all ties in with the Child Fund mission, and that's of ending violence among children. 
It is so inspiring to see how the youth talk about issues that they're passionate about. Their passion is really contagious. They believe and we believe as Child Fund that this is the first generation that has the opportunity to end violence against children, to end extreme poverty. And we are working on this together and we'll get there. If we start small, it's going to eventually open up to a more nationwide and then once it gets nationwide it's going to be a worldwide type thing where like we can have peace and equality. Like, doing this now is helping to a better future. And like that's really the motto for this trip, like one small group of people will affect more and is inescapable. And slate. <laughs>